Kicking it off with a little bit of Diablo Free original soundtrack this time. It's time for a little bit more Brogue. And hopefully it's time to win this game. Because I want to win this game at this point. Jump in this, into uh, um, Steam Marines. So yes, it's time to get the Amulet of Yendo, or at least try to, without dying. We're just going to explore for a few levels, because why not? There's no reason to... Uh... Now explore the first few levels. Oh, that rat sort of pursued me all the way, but whatever. Yoink! Alright, we'll explore level two. I see kobold. And kobold's dead. And this seems like a good time as any to basically start looking into, um, the stuff I picked up and see what it's all about. Let's quaff a few potions. Apply this. That's a potion of life. That's a potion of telepathy. That lets me see eels and other stuff like that. And there's paralysis. I can move her in. As recharging, that's not going to do me any, you know, anything useful. Enchantment. That's going to be completely useless. Um, I can enchant my darts, make them do more damage. Uh, at this point, I'm going to enchant the dagger, I think. Fast scroll recharging. Deal shocks me. There's scroll. Um, feed a rat. Big potion. Develop bursts and explodes and all that, so we're going to just move away. I'm going to actually do a little bit more testing here, I think, so quaff this. Incineration! No, don't step into the flames. I just realized something, but um, this has caught fire. I didn't mean for all this stuff to catch fire. So we're just going to pop some of that stuff. At least I feel better. So yes, that that was a you know wasn't my intention. I meant to not light that stuff on fire, but somehow I managed to. So that sucks. Oh, that would be nice to f have fire immunity. And identify. Every finger pack is already identified. Hooray! Useless. So, interesting run so far. Haven't found any equipment yet. I think I said something about, you know, um, not doing this stuff until I had, like, equipment to actually identify and stuff like that, but whatever. Kill that. Hey, a sword. Swords are buried in daggers. Equip. And why not? We'll cough this potion. Caustic gas, how nice. Not. And we'll go this way. Oh, there's two of those bloodworts in this level. You usually don't see two of these like bloodwort stalks on a level. You see like one at most. Hey, old Tristan music.
Okay, that's gonna flee my darts, so we're just gonna kill it with a dagger, I think. Yes. Dagger killed it. Thump. I have my darts. I don't know why uh, you lose your weapons when you, know, you can throw them like that. It should be sort of like, you know, how Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup has it, where, like, you don't lose the weapon. Potentially. Alright, I want to get to this. And that means that there's probably a door over here. That would be my guess. There it is. Whoopsie, I've plunged into a hole. There's a warning pink jelly. Warning away from me at least, so that's good. Missed it apparently. There we go, all dead. Oh, that's not good. And it saw me too. Um, okay, do I have anything to help me in this situation? This has a good chance of being good, so apply as a push of strength. That will help me a little bit, I guess, but um, I do believe I'm dead here. Yep, I died. So, crap start of a run, but you know, whatever. I wasn't exactly doing that great to begin with, so... Onward! Again! This time we're gonna, you know, just improve my start at the beginning a little bit. Where are these guys guarding? A monkey! Yes, free to Captain Monkey. That'll probably die sooner than later. There's a jackal. Found a door. You know, some days I actually sort of wish that we get in our like Diablo like type of game, like like the original Diablo with like you know, um, what can I say? The, the original Diablo was a really cool game, and I kind of wish we had um, that sort of like style of a game again, where like you know you have like this sort of like you know uh, walking character that walks around, and you have to sort of like think a little bit on your think feet, but uh, you know it's otherwise you know turn based in every sense of the word. I mean, Diablo had, like, you know, its its quirks that sort of, like, you know, sucked and all, but it was a really good game, nonetheless. I think my monkey's dead. Yeah, you hear something die in combat. You feel a sense of loss. So I lost my uh, monkey. The eel killed him. I knew it was going to die, but, it was, you know, it's kind of abrupt that it died right there, but oh well. You surf me well, monkey. At this point, I want a window. Uh, okay, there it is. Where will my jackal get to me?
Oops, I hit something. So there's definitely eels in that water, which sucks. Um, what does this health charm do? This handful of dry bloodwort and mantle root have been bound together with leather cord in view of a powerful healing magic you found on um, Death 2. Interesting. Um, it'll be charged in 759 turns. Why not? We'll apply it right now. So that's been done. We're going to apply this. I'm going to speed myself through here, hopefully. And why not? I'll make use of the haste time there. Splat! Double kill! I'll probably be one of a few times you see me do something like that, but whatever. Shocking me over and over again, that stupid eel. There is the way to that axe. Um, yeah, we can go down here first. Probably move the mouse out of the way a little bit since I'm not using it at the moment, and I know I have it so that you can see where my mouse is at all times when I'm using it. Equip the axe. Three more strength would be ideal, but whatever. And now I have to figure out how I'm going to get over to explore over here, I guess. Okay, you're getting annoying. It's gonna be a while before I get the haste charm ready, sadly. Was it right on a level? Yeah, I'm just getting my health back here a little bit before moving on. Oh. I didn't know the plants regrow. Interesting. The plant regrew right in front of me. Well, I guess it regrew and then the eel came and got rid of the plant, but you know. Do, 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 do. I'm waiting for that, you know, to recharge. So, you know, we're just going to wait like this. Wait till I'm completely full. Once I get that haste charm recharged, now I'm going to use the haste charm to sort of, you know, do what I did before. So, speed up. Be faded there, but whatever. I, you know, got away from the eel. Do 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 do. We'll go down here. And that's basically it for this level. I hit something, catching it unaware. So there's a warning eel in front of me. I feed the eel, I guess, but it wasn't exactly my intention to be finding the eel there. Pit bloat. Great, there's a pit bloat over here. <sighs> that pit bloat got real close. But I didn't get close enough. All right, um, let's throw a dagger at the pit bloat. And there it goes. Wait for the floor to just come back to us. The 
There's a Water and Goblin Conjure on the level. That's not going to be fun to deal with. Some food. Okay, there's a key on a, on a level somewhere. And the Goblin Conjure is not so scary that I'm not going to explore. Just because he's around. The cage won't bug. Perhaps there's a way to raise it nearby. Um, hmm. I'm guessing I need a levitate potion to uh, get across that chasm. I have a stealth range of two, by the way, so this guy can't see me. Hopefully. Well, he saw me, but... Come on, kill it! Damn thing was taking me apart. Okay, I'm gonna sit right here and wait, and if the goblin conjure pops around on me, I'm gonna, you know, slice it in half. There's a monkey that way. Pop him. So the conjure's out of the way. Got lucky and you know approached it through shadows and killed it. Alright, well that's pretty much the level, so it's either go down or try and get this door key. I'm inclined to think it'd be productive if I went down to the next level for now. And I guess the reason we're coming down here um, I don't have any like armor to wear yet and I want to have like both a weapon and an armor before I start like testing all this stuff. I wouldn't mind if there's like a little bit of water to like test my potions and stuff with too. Why not? This seems like a good time to maybe just test my potions and then, um, well, here's the thing: if I test my potions and get a levitation potion, then I'm going to be able to. Uh, Levitate across here and get the um, the uh, pressure plate, I guess. Or wait, wait, I, I've got a deal here. This is a puzzle. The pressure plate clicks underneath the spear. That's how you do it. You basically throw something like a, a spear on top of it. So there we go. I got the door key. That was a neat puzzle. You know, pressure plate. Throw something on top of pressure plate. All right, we killed that monkey. Oh, staves. Okay, well those are still good. Uh, firebolt, lightning. Protection and Discord. What does protection do? A charge from the staff will bay of a creature in protective light, absorbing all damage until this is depleted. This can become counterproductive kind of against your enemies, but can prove useful when aimed at your allies. Unfortunately, you cannot use this or any um, staff on yourself. Alright, um, the most important staff here, I think, is Firebolt. 
And the reason I say this is the most important staff is because a spider is like constantly killing me later on in dungeons. So I want to have that just in case we have like the deal with spiders and I want to burn their webs and such. And you know, I don't want to be dealing with uh, spiders like, you know, webbing me and killing me that way. Let's see a couple of wandering. There's a brass wand over there. I may approach that goblin wrong, but whatever. Get the gold. Pow! And I split in two. Let's back up here. It's going to, one is going to slam me, but note that with an axe that I have, I can do a double hit. So I can hit all three of these guys and, you know, just hit them all, so to speak. Basically, here I'm like doing like double hits. Okay, that's not a good way to double hit that guy. So, Axe, you gotta be careful of it, but it does work pretty well. Okay, here goes that Kobold. Let's uh, wait a little bit. I probably should have gone back to the Bloodwords to use them, but whatever. There's a Sleeping Toad, big deal. Kill the toad. Skill mail. That could be useful. A warden of Yendor. That's something that I'll obviously be fighting when I actually get to the uh, amulet, but not yet there. Oh, it's just a monkey. You can kill a monkey easily enough. Oh, my pack is too full. All right, well, we've gotten to the point where I've got to start worrying about um, identifying stuff. I do have armor and a weapon at this point, so I'm gonna stand right here, equip my uh, scale mail. And um, now I've got an axe and a skin so you know I have armor and I have a, um, a weapon. I'm gonna basically start testing stuff. Let's go with the scrolls first, I guess. We'll go with this one. Apply. That's identify, so I can identify stuff. Um, in this case, what do I want to identify? Potions, probably. There's two potions of strength, so obviously I want to just have those right away. Boom. Boom. Uh, let's go with this. That's a scroll of enchantment, so I now can make my axe and my skill mill a little bit better. Um, let's go with the axe. So now my axe is, uh, you know, equipable and it's also in my strength range, so that's cool. Uh, protective light is now on my skill mill, so my skill mill is now protected from acid attacks. I can get rid of the letter armor, so drop that. Uh, that's going to eradicate the walls, but big deal. I don't mind getting rid of the walls. There's Push of Life. Paralysis. I can move again. Push a levitation means I can float. Incineration, oh no. Um, this means that I'm now on fire and levitating, which means I can't go in water. That, um, that sort of defeats the purpose of being near water. So the best thing to do here is just to step out of the, um, the flames. And I'm gonna start quaffing potions and hope for like, you know, um, resist to fire potion. 
And that's the scent. Well, it doesn't really matter about the scent because I'm levitating, so whatever. Invisibility. And hallucination, why not? I'm now hallucinating. That's the leather armor I dropped there, I guess, so who cares? I stopped burning at least. Got potion paralysis apparently, so now we have a potion to, par to paralyze the enemies if I want to. Interesting. Um, so incineration, descent, levitation paralysis, identify. Interesting stuff I got. I'm listening now, so fun times. I'm gonna stay away from enemies until I can stop loosening a little bit, I think. I'm no more invisible. Got tungsten wand. No longer levitating. Let's actually stop loosening a little bit, I think. Hey look, the dragon is skipping! I don't know if it saw me. Okay, whatever it is, it did see me. And it's chasing me. So, probably at this point. My, we're gonna test my wands. So, did that do anything to him? I don't know. It might have uh, polymorphed him, and I wouldn't know, I don't think. Well, I was beckoning, that just pulled him closer. Feed the imp. No idea why to feed it, it's just dead. And you know what, let's actually identify it, just so I can see what the brass wand's all about. Oh, slowness, it makes things slow. Okay, interesting. All right, I descended, I'm on death five. You know, got some decent gear for now. It's not, you know, spectacular, but at least I can get some more of this gear. Uh, there's two guarding kobolds that are probably guarding something. And crap, this is, you know, this is a bad place to be because I'm, you know, basically killing them all, but taking hits from both sides. And they're a monkey. Hi, a monkey. Oh, it stole something from me. You know, I wonder if I can hit my allies with my uh, axe. That'd be interesting. Like you swing your axe around, you kill, hit your ally as long as you know as long as you have the axe equipped. I wouldn't like it too much, but you know, it would technically make sense. Oh no, my monkey got defeated. The poor monkey. It had so much to live for. Got mango. And it's hunting me, the jelly here. Alright, um, obviously there's something over here. More lava, of course. Hey, leather armor! What useless stuff that is. Scroll of enchanting! I 
Actually, uh... Okay, I've uh, identified this axe already, so I know that's uh, going to do, I guess, 14 damage, I guess, is what that says. Is that how it works? Ah, whatever. Basically, it lets me hit all the enemies. Arrow turret shoots me, we're just gonna avoid the arrow turret. Potion of strength. Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna step out here because I can basically hit both these guys, so... Damn it, these guys are hurting, so, um... Apply this. Apply this. Get multiple hits on it basically and kill it. must be really visible or something because these guys are seeing me from like you no know, long distances away god damn that arrow turret's annoying oh I don't want to go this way I saw that goblin conjurer and I'm like no And why not an arrow turret shooting at me? Alright, uh, done. Good, didn't see me. It didn't see me and it died. Okay, good. All right, another level cleared. We're now on death seven. I'm, I think I'm flying through these uh, levels this time around, at least. All right, I don't want to attack the ass amount. So we're gonna go up here. And it will be charged in 348 turns. Ah, whatever. We're just going to slow the uh, this guy. And him being slow will mean that he can't catch up. Hopefully. There's the totem. You're dead. And a go potion. Burgundy potion. Arrow turret right up there. Interesting place to see the um, arrow turret, but whatever. Ogre. So I got an ogre on this level, wandering around. Okay, I feel weak and I feel hungry, so it's time to uh, eat the mango, I guess. Uh-oh. Paralytic gas. Shoot, I'm going to get stuck with paralytic gas here. This will be the best place to uh, get stuck, I guess. If I'm gonna get stuck, we'll get stuck where you know it's beneficial. 
All right, shattering. So, okay, I know what incineration is, so these potions I can sort of quaff them without much fear, I think. Um, potion of speed, that makes me hasted. Telepathy, I can see the ogre and the centipede apparently in the level. I like strength. Confusion. Um, Fusion is bad right now because I'm basically inside. Gas while next to uh, lava. Now I'm confused. Teleportation. Interesting place to teleport to. I'll be very careful the ogre, but... For the moment, it's just going elsewhere, so... All right, I think we can do a little bit of shattering here. I guess me in here. I've got scale mail, wand of empowerment, ring of stealth, whip, war axe, and a ring of wisdom. I think we want the war axe for um, the reasons that you know. I'm going to want to maybe test you know the war axe and see how it works. If you have to do that, and because it's like the best axe, so yeah, why not use the war axe if I have access to it? Um, I'm gonna equip it, I think. Four more strength would be ideal, so you know, not the best thing for equipment. I'm, I'm equipping it by the way, so I can basically apply this. And since this is protect weapon, my axe is now protected from uh, acid attacks. I'm gonna enchant the war axe. Enchant the War Axe. So now I've got a War Axe that I need two more strength to ideally wield, but it's protected from acid, and um, you know it's pretty damn powerful. So that's great. I think what my plan here will be is I'm going to try and just basically you know focus on getting that War Axe equipable, and then after that I'll want you know hopefully have an armor sometime. Hmm. I'll wait to see what this ogre does. Up, oh, it's coming up this way. Ideally, I don't want him in here. I'm going to attack it. And take off at least half his health. Okay, cool. I'm good for that. Um, I'm going to set on fire. The ogre catches fire. I'm going to basically slow it. He battered me, so I took some damage there, but... He burned to death. But anyhow, basically there goes the ogre. That may have been overkill, but ogres can hurt, so... I didn't want to take chances with him. And there's now an ogre in the level, so why not? And what's this ogre going to do? Um, I could recklessly try and kill this guy, this ogre, 
but I prefer to avoid it, and it looks like he's going to make it easy for me and avoid me. Or he was. Alright, well, next level.